This is Brian Pfeiffer, AKA the Marketing Meathead, and today I'm gonna talk about your subconscious and how to beat it. All right, welcome back. I uh, just wanted to give you a nice, fairly quick video today, and I'm sure you guys face this uh, similar type of scenario that I face on a regular basis. Basically, when you know you don't 100% know how to do something, you kind of put it off. You know, like, have you ever had that feeling where, like, you know, I got to do this, but I don't really know exactly what to do, and um, you kind of put it off, you put it on the bottom of the list of things you got to get done, and maybe it goes to the next day, and then maybe it goes to the next day after that, and it just never gets done. Uh, I call that your subconscious. Basically, your subconscious is, is basically tricking you into saying, like, you know, do something easier, okay? Do something that you know you can get done quickly and that it's gonna be easy. Um, it's kind of along the lines of procrastination. I'm sure, uh, you know, everyone's been to school and procrastinated on getting a paper done or a test, uh, studying for a test until like the last minute. Uh, I've been there, you know, many times. Um, but as you get into real life, you start to realize uh, that you need to get things done in order to start making you know real money <laughs> and moving businesses forward to to meet those goals that you want to hit uh, unfortunately if you continue to put stuff off you don't move the business forward and you don't move toward your goals which is you know depending on you know where you're at in your stage of your your, your working career you know I'm planning on retiring at some point you know I'm, I'm a little bit older I'm 45 uh, I don't you know I don't feel like I'm old I don't feel like I look that old, but the fact of the matter is, at some point, I don't want to work, you know, past, you know, a certain age, you know, I, I've kind of put that number in my head as maybe 50, maybe it's going to be 55, I don't know, but I'm hoping by some point, I can, you know, build up a business and cash that business out, um, and then move into something that maybe is more of like a part-time, you know, more of an enjoyable hobby type of role, maybe I can make some money doing, you know, something online that's more along the lines of something that I really enjoy, like, you know, whether it be boating or fishing or photography or something along those lines. So at the end of the day, you know, like you always have things that you want to learn and do better. Okay. Like right now I'm, you know, shooting a video. Well, this video was supposed to be done earlier in the day and I knew that, you know, it was going to take me a second to prepare for it, put it all together. And you know what? Everything just was so much easier to get done than shooting this video. And unfortunately now it's late in the day. I'm not going to put it out at, you know, 11 o'clock at night, I'm going to have to wait to put this out tomorrow, so I missed, you know, I missed the day of videos, you know, so I, I fight with it too, just like everybody else, and it's kind of unfortunate that, um, you know, it's a, it's that subconscious, like, you know, telling you, like, listen, you can get this done, and this done, and this done, but you got to prepare for that, you're going to have to do a little research, you're gonna, you know, it's like that, 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 the guy on your shoulder, you know, he's telling you, like, ah, just put it off, you know, you can, you can get to it later, or, you know, and then there's then there's the, the guy on the other shoulder saying, hey, listen, you know, you need to move your business forward. You need to get this thing out. You need to, you need to get it done. So I, I face it constantly. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys do too. Uh, as you're trying to progress in the internet marketing world, uh, this is kind of a, you know, make money online type of channel. And I run into this all the time. You know, we, we just um, ordered our uh, first uh, order for Amazon FBA. And uh, fortunately, I was able to afford to hire someone to kind of help me with that and get that business going. But most people aren't. You know, most people act actually have to go through the whole course and learn it. I, unfortunately, haven't been able to have, have time to go through the course. I will eventually. Uh, but we're already, you know, we're already wiring money to China to bring products over here. So, you know, that's one of those things that instead of me, like, going and subconsciously putting it off and waiting till like the fall to get it done. I just went and hired someone and now I have him working on doing the research and finding products for us. And I went over to China myself and set up that relationship. So, you know, I wanted to get an Amazon FBA business going this year. That's one of the big things that, you know, I wanted to do. And if I would have like let my subconscious like put it off, it would have never got done. Okay. So I forced myself to get somebody hired, you know, buy a couple more courses or actually we bought one more course and you know now we've actually got an order placed in china i flew to china myself and got a good relationship going over there with uh, some suppliers and boom that business is now you know in business i'm going to shoot a video uh on that uh, later this week 
and talk a little bit about more the direction we're going with that business. Um, also this year, I've been able to, um, you know, I'm learning to trade crypto. I follow a number of YouTubers. I listen to crypto every day. Now some of the stuff that was like completely foreign to me and my subconscious was telling me I don't know how to do is now becoming like second nature to me. I can talk about it. I can see stuff on charts. I can recognize things. And I'm just like, wow, like it's becoming easier and easier. So, you know, that's one of those things that my subconscious in the beginning was like telling me not to do, you know, and I figured out a way to come around and, and overcome it. So. Um, there was another project that I worked on that took me a lot longer than I expected, but you know, it was learning Infusionsoft and uh, I thought I was going to be able to whip out, you know, a nice campaign for the main VIP hosting business. Well, that ended up taking almost two months, that project. So, you know, a little bit on that is that, you know, most of the time when your subconscious is telling you to, you know, put it off or whatever and procrastinate and whatever, um, I find that about nine out of 10 times, the thing that I'm actually trying to do ends up being easier than what my brain is telling me it is, okay? About nine out of 10 times. Now, that one out of 10 times, it takes ends up taking way longer to learn it and you know to really get it down than what your brain is telling you. And that was the case with that Infusionsoft. Like, it just was a very time-consuming process. It wasn't hard to learn. It was more just putting the time in to get it all set up right and so many campaigns i think we built out like some like seven eight hundred campaigns like it's insane but it's all working and it's all really helping the business uh in fact my numbers in march were up 50 percent from a year ago april uh 50 percent up from a year ago and in may we were up 15 percent from a year ago now may i had a killer month last year so i was you know still above last year which was great so uh you know we'll see how june turns out but i'm pretty sure we're going to be another you know 40 50 percent up on in, in june just based on the reservations we already have now that's for the vip hosting business uh so we're doing really well but i think the follow-up and the automation all that stuff that i built out and spent all that time you know doing was worth it and now it's paying dividends down, down the road but trust me like i literally was trying to build out an infusionsoft campaign for my business for two years I finally like hired somebody, paid them $5,000 to get it started for me. And then once they got it started for me and got it going and I kind of learned it, then I built the rest of it out myself with my virtual assistant and my sales guy. And we built it out ourselves. But um, literally I wanted to do this, I think it's actually longer than that. I think I bought Infusionsoft and I was paying a monthly subscription and really not utilizing it for almost four years. So I finally got around to doing it this year and then I got the numbers now to prove that it's working. <laughs> So, you know, that's, that's that fight with your subconscious, man. You, you know it's going to take some time and you know it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard work, but, you know, you got to push through that somehow. Um, I don't really know, like, the formula 100% that I've been using to get by this year with that subconscious beating, but I've been beating it pretty well. Uh, out of all the years that I've been in business, uh, this year it for sure has been the year that I've got the most stuff like done. And, and part of it has to do with me hiring another salesperson and taking away some of the, the internet leads and whatnot. He's handling a lot of those now. Um, and I've freed up a little bit of time. But uh, you know, I got my YouTube channel going. I started that in January and I've been pretty consistent about putting out four to six videos a week. I'm trying to do some fun stuff. I bought a camera. I'm starting to learn how to use that. I'm actually gonna probably hire a mentor at some point and have someone you know really show me how to use the thing and shoot good video and edit better uh, i'm getting better at editing obviously i never really edited a video before and i'm getting a little better at it my videos aren't great i know that they can be better but i'm not a professional editor so that's one of the things that my subconscious you know is telling me like listen go out and get that you know you got to go out and get that mentor and speed up the process on that <clears throat> i put out another info product which is going to be coming out sometime in june here uh, that's ready to go but we've been building out websites funnels um, you know, uh, we have actually put together a whole uh, backdoor system in Teachable. We uploaded all our other past products onto Teachable. Um, I'm basically learning right now. I'm reading books and I'm watching videos and I'm spending all my, a lot of my spare time learning how to do like the 1.5 hour presentation in order to sell that info product, you know, and make it like an evergreen product at some point. So, you know, I've been able to really, really beat that subconscious this year. Uh, I can't really tell you exactly like how I'm doing it, but I just start, as I start accomplishing more and more and getting more and more stuff done, I just feel like I'm kind of unstoppable, you know? So I think my best advice to you with, you know, beating that subconscious is to just go out there and just, just go out and do it. You know, I've read a lot of books and a lot of people say, put the hardest thing you need to do on the top of your list and get that done first. 
in your day and then you know the easier stuff get done later I think that's good advice uh, however that's not the way I've been doing it <laughs> so I don't know if that's you know gonna change it I've been able to beat it by I, I'm so busy during the day and I got so many calls and texts coming in that I don't really have time to like concentrate fully on any on finishing any, pro, any one project so what I've been doing to beat it on my end is I've been getting all my like daily tasks and work done I usually go to the gym late at night and then I'll come home at like you know say sometimes 10 11 12 1 even sometimes 1 in the morning and I'll sit down when my phone's like off my emails aren't going crazy and um, you know, I'll check my crypto and I'll have like an hour and a half two hours three hours of just like complete non-interrupted time and that's when I've been getting like a lot of this stuff done doing some reading you know watching another video but really watching it like taking notes so that's what's work been working for me um, yeah am I working some crazy long hours yeah I, I am I would say I'm on consistently on a 15 to 16 hour day but you know look at all the stuff that I got done this year I, I am working you know kind of the very the Gary V uh, the Gary V lifestyle like getting a grind and, and you know what I, I have been grinding you know I've been getting a lot of stuff done and I've gotten a lot of things accomplished this year and I got you know quite a bit more things to get accomplished in the year and then, you know, at some point I might take a little break. I'm going to take a couple weeks off in July, and I'm thinking about taking a good chunk of December and doing maybe some traveling and just kind of, you know, not doing anything, like putting everything kind of on pause and, and just having some fun, maybe going doing some really good little photo shoots and stuff like that on my YouTube, maybe overseas in Bali or something. You know, I don't know exactly what I'm, what's going to go on, but the fact of the matter is when I'm here in the office and I'm in Vegas and I'm not traveling, I grind. I work hard, I get it done, I beat that subconscious every day, and I think that's what you guys need to work on right now, is beating that subconscious. Figure out a way, whether it be in the morning, whether it be late at night, you know, whether it be midday, like when, you know, you, you did the morning tasks and, you know, you got stuff to do in the evening, but you have that little window in the afternoon, you can beat that subconscious and get that stuff done, you know, figure out how to beat it. I mean, that's probably the most important thing I can tell you guys about moving any business forward uh, from somebody who's, done, who's built up a seven-figure business and growing is that you just got to figure out a way to beat that subconscious uh, that works with your lifestyle. You know, there's always going to be that guy on your shoulder saying, oh, just put it off, you know, procrastinate. But you know what, man? You got to figure out a way to beat that. And uh, in order to really move your business forward, learn how to beat that subconscious. I am the Marketing Meathead. If you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know what your way is to beat your subconscious on those difficult tasks. And uh, hit that subscribe button, bang that notification bell. I will talk to everybody later.